Small Intestine, a podcast by Joshua Mason. The small intestine is broken into three parts, the duodenum, the jejunum, and the eildenum. The duodenum is about 25 centimeters long and is the first part of the small intestine, in which enzymes are released and used to digest nutrients. Carbohydrates are broken down by amylase, proteins are broken down by trypsin, and lipids are broken down by lepus. The next parts of the small intestine are the jejunum, 2.5 meters long, and the eildenum, 3.6 meters long. These continue to exude enzymes to digest the substances and absorb the nutrients. The small intestine is made up of repeated folds of tissue covered in bumps called villi, which, in turn, are also covered in a very fine layer of protrusions called microvilli. These folds of tissue and large groups of villi and microvilli give the internal structure of the small intestine a high surface area to volume ratio. The high amount of surface area allows greater efficiency as more enzymes can be extracted and a larger quantity of nutrients absorbed. Amino acids, glucose, fructose, lactose, glycerol and fatty acids will all be absorbed through the cells of each villus using diffusion due to the high concentration as the results of digestion. Active transport also takes place once the outer cells have a higher concentration of materials in the digested fluid. These cells expend energy for material in a lower concentration to be transported to an area with higher concentration. Close to 90% of absorption of nutrients happens in the small intestine and the remaining 10% happens in the large intestine and the stomach. The small intestine is found in all four-footed animals but the length and alignment of it can greatly vary between species. In Talios, certain types of ray fin fish, it is typically one and a half the length of the fish's body and it has many small pouch-like structures along it that help to increase surface area. Herbivores have especially long small intestines. Mammal and birds is longer than amphibians and reptiles because they have a higher metabolism. non talios fish like sharks and lungfish have no small intestine but instead the gut forms a spiral intestine connecting the stomach and rectum. Some common disorders of the small intestine include vibus, a severely painful obstruction of the bowels caused by a loop of bowel twisting upon itself in an abnormal way. This prevents any excreting of waste to take place and causes high levels of vomiting and nausea. Treatment includes inserting a tube into the nose of the patient and sucking out all air and semi-digested food from the stomach to release pressure on the small intestine. Surgeons then either cut open the abdomen and restore the position of the intestine or remove the looped area and re-sew it. Another method is to insert a laparoscope, viewing device, and fix it from the outside. This is the less invasive method, hernia. A protrusion of the small intestine through the membrane in which it is held. To treat it, either surgery or laparoscopy is used. Surgery has a much higher chance of complications and recovery time is much longer, making laparoscopy a less invasive and more popular option. During the treatment, mesh may be added to reinforce the muscle holding the hernia to prevent the event reoccurring. Bibliography. Programs used. Comtasia Studio 7. Laquendo TTS Voice Experience 7. Producers of this podcast are not affiliated with these companies in any way. 2012 Public Domain. Thank you for watching. Good night, honey. I love you. Peace out.